Chapter 2 And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Command Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. It is the burnt offering because of the burning upon the altar all night unto the morning, and the fire of the altar shall be burning in it. And the priest shall put on his linen garment, and his linen breeches shall he put upon his flesh, and take up the ashes which the fire has consumed with the burnt offering on the altar, and he shall put them beside the altar. And he shall put off his garments, and put on other garments, and carry forth the ashes outside the camp unto a clean place. And the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. It shall not be put out. And the priest shall burn wood on it every morning, and lay the burnt offering in order upon it, and he shall burn thereon the fat of the peace offerings. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar, it shall never go out. And this is the law of the grain offering, the sons of Aaron shall offer it before the Lord, before the altar. And he shall take of it his handful of the flour of the grain offering, and of the oil thereof, and all the frankincense which is upon the grain offering, and shall burn it upon the altar for a sweet savour, even the memorial of it, unto the Lord. And the remainder thereof shall Aaron and his sons eat. With unleavened bread shall it be eaten in the holy place. In the court of the tabernacle of the congregation they shall eat it. It shall not be baked with leaven. I have given it unto them for their portion of my offerings made by fire. It is most holy, as is the sin offering and as the trespass offering. All the males among the children of Aaron shall eat of it. It shall be a statute for ever in your generations concerning the offerings of the Lord made by fire. Everyone that touches them shall be holy. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, This is the offering of Aaron and of his sons, which they shall offer unto the Lord in the day when he is anointed, the tenth part of an ephah of fine flour for a perpetual grain offering, half of it in the morning and half thereof at night. In a pan it shall be made with oil, and when it is baked, you shall bring it in. And the baked pieces of the grain offering shall you offer for a sweet savor unto the Lord. And the priest of his sons that is anointed in his stead shall offer it. It is a statute for ever unto the Lord. It shall be wholly burned, for every grain offering for the priest shall be wholly burned. It shall not be eaten. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and to his sons, saying, This is the law of the sin offering. In the place where the burnt offering is killed shall the sin offering be killed before the Lord. It is most holy. The priest that offers it for sin shall eat it. In the holy place shall it be eaten, in the court of the tabernacle of the congregation. Whatever shall touch the flesh thereof shall be holy. And when there is sprinkled of the blood thereof upon any garment, you shall wash that on which it was sprinkled in the holy place. But the earthen vessel wherein it is boiled shall be broken, and if it is boiled in a brazen pot, it shall be both scoured and rinsed in water. All the males among the priests shall eat thereof. It is most holy. And no sin offering whereof any of the blood is brought into the tabernacle of the congregation to reconcile within the holy place shall be eaten. It shall be burned in the fire. Likewise, this is the law of the trespass offering. It is most holy. In the place where they kill the burnt offering shall they kill the trespass offering. And the blood thereof shall he sprinkle round about upon the altar. And he shall offer of it all the fat thereof, the rump, and the fat that covers the entrails, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the flanks, and the lobe that is above the liver, with the kidneys, it shall he take away. And the priest shall burn them upon the altar for an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a trespass offering. Every male among the priests shall eat thereof. It shall be eaten in the holy place. It is most holy. As the sin offering is, so is the trespass offering. There is one law for them. The priest that makes atonement with it shall have it. And the priest that offers any man's burnt offering, even the priest shall have to himself the skin of the burnt offering which he has offered. 
and all the grain offering that is baked in the oven, and all that is dressed in the frying pan and in the pan shall be the priests that offers it. And every grain offering, mingled with oil and dry, shall all the sons of Aaron have, one as much as another. And this is the law of the sacrifice of peace offerings which he shall offer unto the Lord, if he offer it for a thanksgiving, then he shall offer with the sacrifice of thanksgiving unleavened cakes mingled with oil, and unleavened wafers anointed with oil, and cakes of fine flour mingled with oil, fried. Besides the cakes, he shall offer for his offering leavened bread with the sacrifice of thanksgiving of his peace offerings. And of it he shall offer one out of the whole offering for a heave offering unto the Lord, and it shall be the priests that sprinkles the blood of the peace offerings. And the flesh of the sacrifice of his peace offerings for thanksgiving shall be eaten the same day that it is offered. He shall not leave any of it until the morning. But if the sacrifice of his offering is a vow or a voluntary offering, it shall be eaten the same day that he offers his sacrifice, and on the next day also the remainder of it shall be eaten. But the remainder of the flesh of the sacrifice on the third day shall be burned with fire. And if any of the flesh of the sacrifice of his peace offerings is eaten at all on the third day, it shall not be accepted, neither shall it be imputed unto him that offers it. It shall be an abomination, and the soul that eats of it shall bear his iniquity. And the flesh that touches any unclean thing shall not be eaten. It shall be burned with fire. And as for the flesh, all that are clean shall eat thereof. But the soul that eats of the flesh of the sacrifice of peace offerings that pertain unto the Lord, having his uncleanness upon him, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. Moreover, the soul that shall touch any unclean thing, as the uncleanness of man, or any unclean beast, or any abominable unclean thing, and eat of the flesh of the sacrifice of peace offerings which pertain unto the Lord, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, You shall eat no manner of fat of ox, or of sheep, or of goat. And the fat of the beast that dies of itself, and the fat of that which is torn with beasts, may be used in any other use, but you shall by no means eat of it. For whoever eats the fat of the beast of which men offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, even the soul that eats it shall be cut off from his people. Moreover, you shall eat no manner of blood, whether it be of fowl or of beast, in any of your dwellings. Whatever soul it is that eats any manner of blood, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, He that offers the sacrifice of his peace offerings unto the Lord shall bring his offering unto the Lord of the sacrifice of his peace offerings. His own hands shall bring the offerings of the Lord made by fire. The fat with the breast, it shall he bring, that the breast may be waved for a wave offering before the Lord. And the priest shall burn the fat upon the altar, but the breast shall be Aaron's and his son's. And the right shoulder shall you give unto the priest for a heave offering of the sacrifices of your peace offerings. He among the sons of Aaron that offers the blood of the peace offerings and the fat shall have the right shoulder for his part. For the wave breast and the heave shoulder have I taken of the children of Israel from off the sacrifices of their peace offerings, and have given them unto Aaron, the priest, and unto his sons, by a statute forever from among the children of Israel. This is the portion of the anointing of Aaron, and of the anointing of his sons, out of the offerings of the Lord made by fire, in the day when he presented them to minister unto the Lord in the priest's office which the Lord commanded to be given them of the children of Israel in the day that he anointed them by a statute forever throughout their generations. This is the law of the burnt offering, of the grain offering, and of the sin offering, and of the trespass offering, and of the consecrations, and of the sacrifice of the peace offerings, which the Lord commanded Moses in Mount Sinai, in the day that he commanded the children of Israel to offer their offerings unto the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Take Aaron and his sons with him, and the garments, 
and the anointing oil, and a bullock for the sin offering, and two rams, and a basket of unleavened bread, and gather all the congregation together unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him, and the assembly was gathered together unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And Moses said unto the congregation, This is the thing which the Lord commanded to be done. And Moses brought Aaron and his sons, and washed them with water. And he put upon him the coat, and girded him with the sash, and clothed him with the robe, and put the ephod upon him. And he girded him with the skillfully woven band of the ephod, and bound it unto him with it. And he put the breastplate upon him, also he put in the breastplate the Urim and Thummim. And he put the mitre upon his head, also upon the mitre, even upon his forefront, did he put the golden plate, the holy crown, as the Lord commanded Moses. And Moses took the anointing oil, and anointed the tabernacle and all that was therein, and sanctified them. And he sprinkled thereof upon the altar seven times, and anointed the altar and all his vessels, both the basin and his foot, to sanctify them. And he poured of the anointing oil upon Aaron's head, and anointed him to sanctify him. And Moses brought Aaron's sons, and put coats upon them, and girded them with sashes, and put caps upon them, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he brought the bullock for the sin offering. And Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the bullock for the sin offering, and he slew it. And Moses took the blood, and put it upon the horns of the altar round about with his finger, and purified the altar, and poured the blood at the bottom of the altar, and sanctified it to make reconciliation upon it. And he took all the fat that was upon the entrails, and the lobe above the liver, and the two kidneys, and their fat, and Moses burned it upon the altar. But the bullock and his hide, his flesh, and his dung, he burned with fire outside the camp, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he brought the ram for the burnt offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the ram, and he killed it. And Moses sprinkled the blood upon the altar round about, and he cut the ram into pieces. And Moses burned the head, and the pieces, and the fat, and he washed the entrails and the legs in water. And Moses burned the whole ram upon the altar. It was a burnt sacrifice for a sweet savor and an offering made by fire unto the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he brought the other ram, the ram of consecration. And Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the ram, and he slew it. And Moses took of the blood of it, and put it upon the tip of Aaron's right ear, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot. And he brought Aaron's sons, and Moses put of the blood upon the tip of their right ear, and upon the thumbs of their right hands, and upon the great toes of their right feet. And Moses sprinkled the blood upon the altar round about. And he took the fat, and the rump, and all the fat that was upon the entrails, and the lobe above the liver, and the two kidneys, and their fat, and the right shoulder. And out of the basket of unleavened bread that was before the Lord, he took one unleavened cake, and a cake of oiled bread, and one wafer, and put them on the fat and upon the right shoulder. And he put all upon Aaron's hands, and upon his son's hands, and waved them for a wave offering before the Lord. And Moses took them from off their hands, and burned them on the altar, upon the burnt offering. They were consecrations for a sweet savor. It is an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And Moses took the breast and waved it for a wave offering before the Lord, for of the ram of consecration, it was Moses' part, as the Lord commanded Moses. And Moses took of the anointing oil and of the blood which was upon the altar, and sprinkled it upon Aaron and upon his garments, and upon his sons and upon his sons' garments with him, and sanctified Aaron and his garments, and his sons and his sons' garments with him. And Moses said unto Aaron and to his sons, Boil the flesh at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and there eat it with the bread that is in the basket of consecrations, as I commanded, saying, Aaron and his sons shall eat it. And that which remains of the flesh and of the bread shall you burn with fire. 
and you shall not go out of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation in seven days, until the days of your consecration are at an end, for seven days shall he consecrate you. As he has done this day, so the Lord has commanded to do to make an atonement for you. Therefore shall you abide at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation day and night, seven days, and keep the charge of the Lord, that you die not, for so I am commanded. So Aaron and his sons did all things which the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. And it came to pass on the eighth day that Moses called Aaron and his sons and the elders of Israel. And he said unto Aaron, Take a young calf for a sin offering, and a ram for a burnt offering, without blemish, and offer them before the Lord. And unto the children of Israel you shall speak, saying, Take a kid of the goats for a sin offering, and a calf, and a lamb, both of the first year, without blemish, for a burnt offering, also a bullock and a ram for peace offerings to sacrifice before the Lord, and a grain offering mingled with oil, for today the Lord will appear unto you. And they brought that which Moses commanded before the tabernacle of the congregation. And all the congregation drew near and stood before the Lord. And Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commanded that you should do, and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. And Moses said unto Aaron, Go unto the altar and offer your sin offering, and your burnt offering, and make an atonement for yourself and for the people, and offer the offering of the people, and make an atonement for them, as the Lord commanded. Aaron therefore went unto the altar, and slew the calf of the sin offering which was for himself. And the sons of Aaron brought the blood unto him, and he dipped his finger in the blood, and put it upon the horns of the altar, and poured out the blood at the bottom of the altar. But the fat, and the kidneys, and the lobe above the liver, of the sin offering, he burned upon the altar, as the Lord commanded Moses. And the flesh and the hide he burned with fire outside the camp. And he slew the burnt offering, and Aaron's sons presented unto him the blood, which he sprinkled round about upon the altar. And they presented the burnt offering unto him, with the pieces thereof, and the head, and he burned them upon the altar. And he did wash the entrails and the legs, and burned them upon the burnt offering on the altar. And he brought the people's offering, and took the goat which was the sin offering for the people, and slew it, and offered it for sin, as the first. And he brought the burnt offering, and offered it according to the manner. And he brought the grain offering, and took a handful thereof, and burned it upon the altar beside the burnt sacrifice of the morning. He slew also the bullock and the ram for a sacrifice of peace offerings, which was for the people. And Aaron's sons presented unto him the blood which he sprinkled upon the altar round about, and the fat of the bullock and of the ram, the rump, and that which covers the entrails, and the kidneys, and the lobe above the liver. And they put the fat upon the breasts, and he burned the fat upon the altar. And the breasts and the right shoulder Aaron waved for a wave offering before the Lord, as Moses commanded. And Aaron lifted up his hand toward the people and blessed them, and came down from offering of the sin offering, and the burnt offering, and peace offerings. And Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the congregation, and came out and blessed the people. And the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the people. And there came a fire out from before the Lord, and consumed upon the altar the burnt offering and the fat, which, when all the people saw, they shouted and fell on their faces. And Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took each of them his censer, and put fire therein, and put incense thereon, and offered strange fire before the Lord which he commanded them not. And there went out fire from the Lord, and devoured them, and they died before the Lord. Then Moses said unto Aaron, This is it that the Lord spoke, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come near me, and before all the people I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. And Moses called Mishael and Elzaphan, the sons of Uzziel the uncle of Aaron, and said unto them, Come near, carry your brethren from before the sanctuary out of the camp. So they went near and carried them in their coats out of the camp, as Moses had said. And Moses said unto Aaron, 
and unto Eliezer, and unto Ithamar, his sons, Uncover not your heads, neither rend your clothes, lest you die and lest wrath come upon all the people. But let your brethren, the whole house of Israel, bewail the burning which the Lord has kindled. And you shall not go out from the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, lest you die, for the anointing oil of the Lord is upon you. And they did according to the word of Moses. And the Lord spoke unto Aaron, saying, Do not drink wine nor strong drink, you, nor your sons with you, when you go into the tabernacle of the congregation, lest you die. It shall be a statute for ever throughout your generations, and that you may put difference between holy and unholy, and between unclean and clean, and that you may teach the children of Israel all the statutes which the Lord has spoken unto them by the hand of Moses. And Moses spoke unto Aaron, and unto Eleazar, and unto Ithamar, his sons that were left, Take the grain offering that remains of the offerings of the Lord made by fire, and eat it without leaven beside the altar, for it is most holy. And you shall eat it in the holy place, because it is your due, and your sons' due, of the sacrifices of the Lord made by fire, for so I am commanded. And the wave breast and heave shoulder shall you eat in a clean place, you, and your sons, and your daughters with you, for they are your due and your sons' due, which are given out of the sacrifices of peace offerings of the children of Israel. The heave shoulder and the wave breast shall they bring, with the offerings made by fire of the fat, to wave it for a wave offering before the Lord. And it shall be yours and your sons with you by a statute forever, as the Lord has commanded. And Moses diligently sought the goat of the sin offering, and behold, it was burnt. And he was angry with Eleazar and Ithamar, the sons of Aaron who were left alive, saying, Why have you not eaten the sin offering in the holy place, seeing it is most holy, and God has given it to you to bear the iniquity of the congregation, to make atonement for them before the Lord? Behold, the blood of it was not brought in within the holy place. You should indeed have eaten it in the holy place, as I commanded. And Aaron said unto Moses, Behold, this day have they offered their sin offering and their burnt offering before the Lord, and such things have befallen me. And if I had eaten the sin offering today, should it have been accepted in the sight of the Lord? And when Moses heard that, he was content.